What's up nerds, I'm going to be showing you how to get to Volcano Manor as fast as possible. That is the fastest way to get to Volcano Manor, and it starts here at the schoolhouse classroom. You're going to immediately turn right, you're going to head out this little hallway, you're going to immediately stay on the left afterwards, go up this little pathway, go straight, and don't mess with this dude. Jump across this little gap here, you're definitely going to want to jump the gap because there is a gap there and you can slip through and it will be a bad time if you fall. And then you're going to want to come down here. Don't wait too long to do it so you don't take fall damage. And then I like to use this time to deal myself a bunch of damage. Because at the bottom of this little elevator here we're using is a Iron Maiden enemy, I guess it is. And they have this grab attack, which if you die inside of them while the grab attack is going off, then it'll warp you to Volcano Manor. Kind of a goofy little thing there, I imagine there's some lore involving that that I have not figured out yet, but, you know, that's a story for another day. So we're going to come down here, come down here at the bottom, avoid any other attacks that they have, just get hit by this thing, get grabbed by it, and you want to die inside of it. If you don't die inside of it right away, you can get grabbed by it again, uh, but you have to die while inside of it being grabbed by it in this way. Then you're going to warp over there. I uh, ended up you know, using a different cut and different take uh, where I took off my clothes in order to make the jump easier for myself because it is a little bit of a tough jump. You have to get a running start, jump at this very, very apex, jump late and do a running attack and then, you know, delay the attack just a little bit so that you get as much as much distance as possible. You might be wondering how I can just run across this stuff because normally you have to roll across this stuff. I think it's because my character is like super high level on this playthrough. It's like new game plus five. And I think I have just a ton of resistances because my other character, which is on playthrough one, was not able to do that. I had to roll across all of it. So that was interesting. And I wanted to point that out in the video because I noticed it and I thought it was weird too. Uh, and you can see here I have a ton, like look at my stats there, I mean like compared to a brand new fresh account, you know, like it's obviously, I think that's what's going on. Otherwise the game maybe did something goofy and glitched or something, uh, either way, uh, that was cool. So you go up this little elevator here that you see, come up this junk. Uh, there's an item over there you can grab, I'm gonna skip it for now. Uh, you go run across this, avoid this dude. Do not go up the stairs and across into that hallway, into that big like cathedral, like uh, church thing. That is a boss. You don't want to do that. You want to avoid that. You want to come over here, get the shortcut, which takes, which is a shortcut to the boss. Um, now, normally you've come from the other side and you've come through the level, so you've opened up a certain door that makes this really viable. But this drawbridge actually is not accessible to us yet. You see that I have a jump cut there because I accidentally fell. Uh, but you have to turn around, get a running start while you're on that little tiny nub right there so that you can get on top of these chains, this little rolling chain thing, so that you can get all the way up here. This is not uh, achievable uh, otherwise. Uh, you have to do that little exploit that I just showed you. So this uses not only that in-game secret warp that you saw at the beginning of this video uh, using the Iron Maiden, but it uses kind of like a speedrunning tactic where we used a texture on the drawbridge there in order to use the terrain in order to jump up and basically get to an area we weren't otherwise supposed to be able to get to. Essentially, we're accessing the Volcano Manor completely backwards of how you're probably supposed to access it. But it is the fastest way to do it, coincidentally. So, like I said, it uses an in-game warp and then I guess it's two exploits to do two different jumps in order to be able to get to this grace point right here because this is the grace point we all want and love here at Volcano Manor because this is the one that can take us everywhere. Alright, if you haven't checked out my other Elden Ring content, go check that stuff out. If you like what you see, like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.